Let us continue playing The Darkest Dungeon. And we are finally going to get our last party of people level up to level 3. We have more than enough capable of doing the last bosses, and then we'll have to slowly grind them up to level 5. Once we have a full set of champions, though, the game is going to start hurting, I feel. So, there are two real aims at this stage. One is to earn enough money to keep going and to boost the levels. Secondly is to unlock top level skills for each of our current people. At least enough that we can go and do a level 5 venture. Upgrade weapons and armor another level. This is going to be a very expensive process, but I feel it kind of has to be done. That means we're probably going to be concentrating on the warrens wherever possible because we are going to need, well, the wheels wherever possible. That being said, that being said, we go to the cove first. With this team, we have equipped them as such. The Arbalist and Karma Crystal is our usual sort of pick here. More Eldritch damage is the way to go. Double boxings for you, because I don't really have a lot else that works for Houndmaster, as it turns out. And we have our Mr. Let's do all the tactics for Oldie Bones at the back. Oldie Bones is going to be really helpful against some of these bosses, I feel. But it's alright. Anyway, provision up. Remember I have dog biscuits, for God's sake. Remember I have dog biscuits. It's getting embarrassing. I haven't needed them in all fairness, but still. Okay, stack and a half, and I'm going to go for a stack and a half here. I'm trying to save some money. I know I don't have any torch real... Oh, come on. Drag that back, thank you. And I want to drag that back, thank you. If it gets to a dark position, I can probably mess around, but we don't have to do everything. We can always just emergency camp if we need to. I'm quite happy to go with that. Embark. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Okay, we can ignore one room there. We can get round. Camp probably around here-ish. Because there isn't a boss or anything to do at the end, I might as well camp earlier rather than later. And just keep those four bonuses, or those four battle bonuses up. Meanwhile, we have an encounter. Oh, and we are surprised. That is actually rather bad. It's completely reversed what we were. Okay. You can thankfully go from anywhere, though. Seven. And bleed. I could go for a weakening curse, but I think we'll go for the stab on you. This isn't the worst party in the world for um, terms of positional play, but obviously our Arbalist needs to move back. We'll go for the bolster at this stage. Slice and dice. Double dodge. Shank, 8 damage. Okay. So you're not quite finished there, but I'm still going to go for a bleed attack here. And I'll finish you off with stab. Behold the unquenchable fire of the stars. Rampart, which does also have a move forward effect. You're out next round, but you are going to get this, which is dodged. Slice and dice. 3 2. Actually, you can't heal yourself with your own ability, but we can shoot you at least. Give them no quarter. Bloody good shot. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Weakening curse. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, back we go. So I think you might actually be better in position. Maybe you won't. You actually nearly have all your abilities unlocked. I just noticed that's because we keep swapping and changing. I guess. Right, torch right. in. The promise of safety. And we still get our bolster bonus then, so we're still dodging. Lead to the back. 
increases the odds of this being successful. Good dodge, good dodge. Seven damage. Eldritch Artillery. Double kill. <laughs> Very nice, sir. Uh, right. Let's go for a standage. And boss. Because of all the Eldritch bonuses we do get there, um, I think it, but since you are stunned, we're gonna go for a heal round then. Well, it's actually not very bad. Well, it's actually a very good party for healing. We have three and we have a guard position here because you do have the ability to go and up the protection. I'm gonna bolster though. Okay. I'm tempted to go on another round, but we won't. Okay. So you have the 100% trap disarm. 30. 30. Oh man, I'm 30. So you're the only one who has a chance of really getting this chest. Contents are ours. I don't know whether it is based on the trap skill list, but I imagine it should be. Treasure room. And there was nothing back there, which is okay by us. Okay, thing is disarmed, and we find some packs. Which contain loot, which also includes a torch. So, okay. So light levels we should be fine for. Let's go get that treasure. Call of Leap. Artillery! Which works out very nicely for us. Oh god, rending. Dodged. Okay. You haven't had a go yet, so let's actually crush you to death. Yeah, we need to really mark him with um, the hound whistle rather than um, anything else here. Still. I'm gonna shoot him anyway. The hand whistle will cause it. Yeah, there we go. So this will cause him to lose his protection bonus. Down about 8%. Dodge, which is good. He has the extra damage bonus going on at the moment. Stab time! Hand rush for a kill. Yeah, this guy still can't hit us. We go for the stun because if the stun works, all good. And also, pushing you back a row means you can be shot. Masterfully executed. Mind you, that's why I tend to keep I tend to keep Bolas on um, my Arbalest anyway, for Remind just for that purpose. That Portrait is absolutely vital. So I'm going to take that over the two torches. Um, the busts. Gonna gamble that way around, and I think we will take this over the holy water for now. And we'll see what you find. It was trapped. You resist the you resist the blight effect though, so it's all good. All right, onwards we go. As mentioned, I'm probably gonna be camping after this. Or possibly I'll go up and then down, and then we'll camp there. Barnacle chest, we can open with a shovel. So, extra deeds. I almost want to say screw it and get rid of the dog biscuits, but sooner or later... Actually, no, we will screw it and get rid of the dog biscuits. I haven't used them. I don't need them. I'm not going to regret that. I'm going to totally regret that. Um, In Radiance, may we find victory. Scout report. 
So we can go up and down without really an ill effect. We can then get a camping bonus before we do the room. And it's also why I'm letting the torch run down just the moment. There's no point in raising it before I head back. No ambush, so that's all good. Bit of extra stress, but we're, we're totally fine at this stage. We're not even at... Four stress is nothing to worry about. Alright, camping time. Circle in the dark. Might as well eat. Get rid of any remaining stress that was there. All two of it. So yeah, while here's where a decision has to be made now, because I think we'd prefer the not nighttime ambush. And extra scouting chance is always nice to have. We'll take the extra dodge and we will take the extra damage. Which did include crit chance on two of them, which is always good. Rest out. Honestly, Oldie Bones is one of our best people to just have in terms of a camp. The path is clear. Just nicely sets everything up. Only the strength to follow it. Stress wave dodged. Okay, since he's already had a go, I guess we want to really try and deal with these two. Precision. And that's how you deal with him. <laughs> you just kill him. Um... Again, I'm going to stun you to the back row just so we can shoot you with the Arbalist. Yeah, Yuki misses by one, but that's okay. He's stunned, so we can afford to just... Okay, that was just way too easy. It's almost a non-encounter. We have no stress, zero stress, zero damage. I'm going to target whistle you to death, can I? No, mine is 100% damage. The ground quakes. For justice! And a hard-boiled egg, of this course. Expedition at least promises success. Okay, more loot. We're doing all right for gold here, as to be said. Torching in. The match is struck. A blazing star. So is We've still got quite a way to go, actually, and we don't have that many torches, so it might end up being a tempt in the dark situation for soon. This under moved. I'll risk this for the moment. More scout. Okay, no encounter. Open the box. And the only... I mean... I lose a scout bonus, obviously, for this. Though we have a boost anyway for our next... Um, free combats. But... Um, I am kind of inclined to just see if we can... No, actually, we don't even need to loot that much, do we? All right, fine. We'll torch up. I'm happy to stay in the third level. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely fine. All right, fine. Screw it. As the light gains purchase, oh, we need an extra torch anyway. Spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Hunger strikes. But we have plenty of food in reserve. And it does appear as if there's not going to be a lot of... Oh, there are a couple more encounters coming up. Which will... Still be within our range. And all of our buffs. Another right. Shovelage. Another misfortune. We're okay about misfortune if it comes to it. 100 gold. Torching in. Oh, and that's nice. That gives us positive traits. I know that much. Right. Hand rush you, because we do want you to finish before you have a go at us. Artillery. Crit 17. He's just failing. He's just not failing to crit anything he touches, is he? Marvelous isn't too far behind on that front either. I'm gonna stun you. A devil's Jew. 
Yeah, because he doesn't usually explode on the first turn. That would be a great time for it to prove me wrong, but you know. Hand rush. We know he's finished, so stab there. He's now at two. Mollus for a double kill. Okay, all of the lootables. So, I don't know whether this gets rid of a bad one or gives a good one. So, either way, I want to pick somebody. I think Yuki might grab this because I think she can gain two traits. Mind you, so can Oldie Bands. Three artifact inspires the hero. I'm not sure it did anything. They are surprised. Got one more bonus of that to come, but for the moment, you're finished. You're going to be stunned. And you are finished. An extra ruby out of that, which is nice. So it's they always nice to stack up. We'll get rid of the bandages at this stage. We're definitely in loot grabbing mode, so it's all good. More money we get now, the better we're going to be in the future. Torch. Okay, I think this might be the last room. Mac has already been looted. But the box contains things we want. Giving us a third portrait. So that means I think we need number six to be sure of that. Last torch. Hunger strikes. So we can have another encounter before the end. Preferably a treasure room. Okay, keep going. See what the scout says. We have one more encounter and a um, room there. I'm willing to do that in the dark. Well, the dark and... It's not really dark, but, you know. It's close enough. Alright, stunnage. Dodged. More stunnage. One damage. And he resists both. Awesome. And rush. 11 bleed means he's down to one health. Oh, we didn't do bleed. Yeah, I'll finish you off anyway. Double boss. One out, and that just leaves one more turn. Step. Oh, you missed the stab. It's not very good from you, is it? Ha. Huh. Press over that. Oh, I should have really done the food as well. We've got more loot coming up anyway. Crate is empty. Oh, nothing more I can really do here, is there? So we'll just enter and see nothing, and then we'll go home. So, welcome to Veteranhood. Almost traversable. Almost. But 1,300 gold is definitely not a bad place to be at. And plenty of crests. One thing from the weird system, we gained scurvy, which we kind of knew about. We saw the disease there. Thought we might gain something else. So, welcome to In everybody time, being level three. You the oh, you misplaced a solar defense. crown. God darn it. Well, it's not as bad as our jester friend who did get rid of his one, his best, the best item he could use just before, we, just after we got it. And we do have a backup solar crown, but still. Yeah. Should probably get rid of these, actually, at some stage. If I'm not going to use them, there's no real point in holding on to things, I guess. 
but 20,000 gold, so we're in reasonable shape. The guild is now six away from six away from maxing. The sunken crew and the 12-pounder are there. We still need to do more ruins and war and stuff. I don't know why it's offering these anymore. We have nobody who can do it. A long veteran campaign would get us close and also probably unlock the path to the boss. We still need to do more ruin stuff, so I think the next mission we're probably going to do one of these, either the sunken crew or the 12-pounder, depending on which one I feel is probably safer. But we shall see. Stuff to work out, stuff to do later. And we certainly need more cash, don't we? So, I'm going to say until next time, folks.